So my concerns or issues with orthodoxy um, it's coming on the heels of the Constantine video which might probably get uploaded after this um, but in relation to truth be told my issues with um, orthodoxy are um, the seemingly the strong arming of um, <clears throat> the monastic mentality that um, really the the uh, mentality really solidified um, in the 15th century um, and it's not um, original to the first 800 years of the church and how that's taken over. Um, I find that um, um, ludicrous and people might cite certain church fathers um, we know the Church Fathers, some of them are wrong on some things, um, except maybe Ignatius of Antioch, he was right on everything. But um, even when they, you know, Epiphanius speaks about icons. Um, I don't know if people consider him a Church Father, but him and Eusebius were wrong, but even in their being incorrect, they bear witness, even though they disagree with iconography, that iconography was around from the earliest times of the Church. Um, <clears throat> now, the... Um, the other thing is this idea of taking another name, you know, somebody named Brian or even somebody with a total Christian name like uh, Timothy or Paul has to take a name like Constantinos or Greg Gregorios or whatever. And then if he becomes a monk or a nun, takes another name. What? I mean, pagan names like Cassius and um, I mean, even Aphrodite, Saint Aphrodite, her name was the name of a pagan goddess. And she's a saint. None of the original saints who were Gentiles had quote unquote godly names. Many times they were directly in reference to pagan or pagan gods. The um, this I find to be um, ludicrous that uh, this idea of because it really it, it hems in the culture and doesn't expand it. You know, if if that were the way, then. Um, Christianity would have never broken out into these other areas. I stuck my name, um, the root of it in English being Joseph, or in Hebrew, Yosef, or in Arabic, Yusef, or in Greek, Yusif. The, um, I just stuck with that. Um, so those are issues that I have with the church. They're not the only ones, but again, we're part of the church because it is the true church. I mean, when I came to orthodoxy, I had many issues with many things, even doctrinal and dogmatic stuff, but I recognized this is the actual church. This is the church that was started by Christ, and it's still going on. <clears throat> and it's for us to sort out some bumps and hiccups because some heresies have lasted for centuries, but they get weeded out. So you're not alone in that. Um, Hopefully I'll have my Constantine video uploaded soon. I know you've had an issue with him being a saint, so peace to you. And I hope, you, hope this gives you comfort.